project number five is called uh, Thunder Maze, and here it is. We gave you the background of stage and scene of a, of a maze and the actor of that little thunder logo. There he is. We gave you one line of code. So on start, it says go to the X coordinate and Y coordinate. Uh, that's going to put your thunder logo in the right spot. So if I move him by accident throughout my maze, my project, I push that start button, and he goes back to that starting point. So this line of code you want to keep. The task now is to build the code to move this Thunder logo through the maze, stopping at checkpoints 1, 2, and 3, and exiting at point B, entering in point A, leaving at point B, but stopping at 1, 2, and 3. So for starters, i got to build my code to travel from here across. If I don't know how far to travel, I need to kind of build some uh, some helping code to have my, my character move. So here's how it's going to be done. I'm going to bring in my same up, down, left, right arrow key code blocks. So up, down, left, right, bring all those in. And I'm going to have this here just change. Change X by 10 is going to be my right arrow. Change X by negative 10, my left arrow. Y by 10, my up arrow, y negative 10, my left down arrow. So I have to go negative 10 for down. Up arrow is correct. This would be my right arrow, positive 10, left arrow, negative 10. I'm going to push start, and I'm going to count. I push my left arrow, nope, my right arrow. I got one click, two clicks, three clicks, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen clicks. So fifteen clicks, fifteen clicks of ten each is a hundred and fifty. So I'm gonna build my code for this. I'm gonna have it and it's gonna be a repeat. I'm gonna repeat fifteen clicks, and in which case I am, I'm just going to borrow here, borrow this one, borrow change X. I'm going to go control C for copy, control V for paste. It's repeat 15 clicks of this, but I want to see it move, not just kind of instantly appear. So I'm going to add a weight block. And I want to go pretty quick, not point 0.1, you get point Zero, zero, 001, you go fast. So unplug this for now. Wait, keep that there, sorry. I'm doing another on start on. Plug this in for now and try it. So I'm gonna go stop the program. Stop. Try to get ready. Play. Roop, there it goes. See it? And play. Roop. So it works. It's my first line of code done. I have to go down. So I'm Push my down arrow. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21 times. So I'm going to repeat 21 times of this is going to be a down, so we move, change X by negative 10. Again, copy that, paste that. And I'm going to go the same wait time. So I'm going to click on this block copy and paste and plug it in. But I want to have this here not be on start. I want to be on um, not that one. So according to my the notes, it's when I'll put the Z key is pressed for Zimmerman. When Z key pressed, okay, now I can push my start button, my letter Z, nice, two down, I have to go over, up, over, and down. That one's done. And of course, up, over, down, over, so you get the point, same thing over and over and over again. On our spots one, two, three, and four, one, two, and three, I'm going to add an actor. I'm just going to grab one that's already done because it's all I need, and I'll bring in Maybe the Yeti. 
but he's way too big. Stop the program. Shrink him down quite a bit. Shrink down, Yeti. You're going to be a little guy. Put a thunder out of the way for now. Move Yeti on number one. And what we want now is when the thunder logo hits the Yeti on the spin, then disappear. Okay? So I want to have him spin, disappear. Well, I think lesson number nine, we had to build those ships that would shoot the lasers and we have the ship disappear when hit by the laser. So it's going to be, um, I need to have this here. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be a when touching, T-O-U-C-H, when touching occurs and touching of ZT, that's my little name of the character, ZT, ZT. He's going to repeat, repeat. Hold on. My Yeti is set to be on rotate freely. Good, that's important. He's going to repeat. If I do 10 repeats, I'll need, let's go, let's go more than that. Let's go, um, Let's go 36 repeats. That's one full circle. So I'm going to go 72. I'm going to go 30, 60, 90, and 18. 108 repeats. Three full turns. I'm going to turn my character 10 degrees because 36 times 10 is 360. And I want three of those, so three full turns. Again, I want to have a weight, so you can see him turn. A weight 0 0.001 again, because it's pretty fast. And then I want to have him hide. Hide. And also play a sound. Let's get some sound brought in. So play a sound. Play a sound and hide. And then I gotta add some sound effects to this guy. How to play a sound. And now no sound effects added. I gotta add some sounds. So what if I go to the um, add sound? I'll do it later on. But add a sound so it's gonna work. So I'm gonna for now put the Yeti here so we can see it work. So I'm gonna push the, uh, the play button. When I push the letter Z, the logo's going to move, hit the Yeti, he spins, goes away. Perfect, it's going to work. So I'll stop that. Uh-oh, there's my Yeti. Why is he gone? Why is he gone? Where'd he go? Did I panic? No. Because my Yeti code says to hide. I want him on start to be shown. On start show. Now I push my start button. There he is. Okay. But he's going to go on the number one. So stop the program. Number one, there he goes. I need a character at number two and number three. Again, it's going to be when touching the logo occurs, have it spin, play a sound, disappear. All right? That's the basics of project number five.